Today on Wood Turning, we're going to turn and carve a wooden skull. <laughs> Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Quality hardened tool rests and live centers too. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. Lots of people tell me that I have a great sense of humor. My response usually is, well, if you turn like me, you better have one. Well, today we're going to up the ante because if you carve like me, you really need one. But first, let's get turning. So a friend of mine, uh, David Cleary, gave me this wonderful piece or several pieces of holly uh, a while back and I was cutting some up and it started splitting so I said, well this is a good project to use this on. <laughs> let's make a skull. And so I picked this up at uh, Target and it's really cool and I think it's actually pretty anatomically correct and we will do our best to get close to that. But what I found out was, is Brian will see this better because I'm way too close to the camera. So the skull's kind of laying in here like so. So you can see with the curved part of the tree right here, it curves with the skull. So all I want to do is round this off on the edges, which will remove a lot of wood that we don't have to mess with when we're carving. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bowl gouge, a big heavy one. And I've actually, this is centered, believe it or not, I had to measure from the crown down to get the center. So make sure you do that. Sorry? Sponsors. Oh, we have sponsors? Oh, thank you, Brian. Hey, and I want to take this opportunity to thank Robust, who makes these wonderful lays, and Easy Wood Tools, who make wonderful tools. <laughs> <laughs> we use them in the show. I, I use them when they're appropriate, and right now this thing scares me a bit. But anyway, uh, without them, we would not have this show because their support is awesome, and it, it's nice to have them along because they're wonderful people, and I don't use these products unless they work. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to turn a little bit. So I'm going to turn this on and turn this up, and you can see we got a little wobble, and we're going to work our way through the wobble, so we're doing good now. So I want to basically start curving, whoop, don't touch that, curving this to get the shape of the skull. Once I get these edges knocked off a bit, we're going to then get the skull shape up there and draw and get a little more detailed on where we're wanting to remove the wood. Now skulls aren't perfectly round, and if you look at my head, you can tell that. <laughs> So that's a good thing because if I had to make a perfect sphere, I'd probably be in a lot of trouble. But anyway, I'm knocking off these edges and one thing I want to show you here is this, the reason I'm going with a bowl gouge at this point is it's an interrupted cut and it's also this wood, whoops, I've got a, a step center on there so in case I get a little bit of a catch it stops it then I'll stop it anyway. Um, but you can see, look at how much that grain is tearing out. And this is a tiny profile. So if I had any sort of a scraper on here, it'd rip it out even more in this case. I just want to minimize that as much as I can for right now. So I'm going to work on this and slowly work my way into the skull shape. Because I can't wait to start carving. <laughs> Well, I kind of got the shape I need, and you can't take much wood off because you got to do a lot to get the skull. But it's mounted on the lathe, and I've just got held with a worm chuck so I can carve. <laughs> and the tools I'll be using today, this is a proxen carver, and you can see it looks like a little chainsaw blade in there, right? <laughs> that does a lot of damage. And then a little finer one is this one here. It's got a little grinder. It works really well. So, <laughs> let's get carving. <laughs>
poor Horatio, I knew him well. I hope that's right. Uh, obviously, you can tell that my carving skills are very frightful. <laughs> so I uh, thought I'd amp it up a bit because I can't carve the teeth. And some of you very sharp viewers over the years have said, what's that box labeled teeth that you have in your shop? Well, I was dumpster diving where my storage facility was and found this one day. Apparently, a dentist's office decided to throw away all their casts of their teeth. So, <laughs> here we go. I got some interesting teeth and I've been dying to use them on something. Well, guess what? I think we figured out on what. So the first thing we have to do is hollow out the base of the skull to receive the teeth. So the teeth are great, except for the fact that we got a lot of plaster here still. So I'm going to carve and sand this down so it fits in there and looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, that's it, natural. So obviously, my carving needs a little bit of help, so how do you help yourself? <laughs> With fire! So let's put a few details on here and see if we can get the eye sockets and nose dark too. So we'll go real light on the head here, just to get a little bit of marking. Oh, that's cool. That's not bad. Okay, let's try an eyeball here, see how this works. Oh, that's not too bad. That smells good. Ah, <laughs> got character. Oh, he's having a good day. A little bit around the face. This. I like this. This is looking better. I'm an excellent carver, as long as I burn my carving. <laughs> and that's how you make a wooden skull. Until the next time on Wood Turning. Keep turning and burning and burning and burning. <laughs>